I am so excited for today's video because we are going to be trying out new makeup. And if you guys know me, you would know that new makeup is like one of my favorite things. Like I love to try out new stuff and this is a brand that I've been meaning to try out for like a very long time, but I don't know, I guess I just like never got around to it. But today is the day, okay? We are gonna be trying out Essence. There's a lot of things that appeal to me about this makeup brand. For one, their prices are fairly inexpensive. And so that immediately just like, you have my attention with that. And on top of that, I've always heard people say like really good things about this brand and the quality of it. So I'm just, I'm really intrigued. There's only been one product that I have tried out from them, which I will be sure to mention later on. Aside from that, it's all new makeup and ooh, I'm so excited. Also, I think what I'm gonna do for these style of videos, basically where I'm like trying out either a new makeup brand or a makeup brand that I've tried very little from. I think I'm gonna be calling this like the what's good series, if you will. I've only ever done one other video that I titled what's good and then insert the brand name and that was Beauty Bay. So I, I don't know, I was just like, well, why not? Like, let's see what's good and like, I'll let you guys know what I think about it. Of course, these are just my opinions, so these might be products that you've tried out before. Some things that I might not like, you may totally fine, okay? You got different skin, all of that. I'm just here to have a good time and try out new makeup and I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this. So as far as my face goes, I have nothing on it at the moment because I did pick up a primer and I just wanted to get the full effect. I wanted to see how this made my skin feel and how makeup would lay on top. I went with the Hello Good Stuff Primer Serum which hydrates and plumps your skin, allegedly. And it has blueberry and squalane. So looks like this, very cute. Ooh, it feels very like watery. Not in a bad way, like it's extremely comfortable and immediately you get a bit of like a cooling effect. Definitely has like a very faint smell of blueberry. Well, immediately something I am noticing is the radiance that this has given, like, if I remember correctly, my skin was not looking like this before. But yeah, ooh, that's nice. For foundation, I was struggling. And again, everything that I'm like saying as far as availability goes has to do with the specific location of Ulta that I went to. So I'm not entirely positive what Essence's like full ranges and all of that. I had, I think it was like four different foundations to pick from, none of which seemed like my shade at all. However, I picked up the shade Neutral Vanilla. This looks like a very different shade than what is represented on the box. So I, yeah, I just don't really know what to expect with this, but this is supposedly a hydrating foundation with Hyaluron and Aloe Vera. This is what it's like. It's gonna be a little squeezy too. Yeah, see, like that is really light. Like that looks like my uh, skin, but that is not what's on the box. I don't know if this is gonna oxidize, but like they would need to do a better job at doing that because that doesn't look anything like that. <laughs> it is definitely more liquidy, like it's running down my hand. Let's do a little bit of both, a sponge and a brush and see what I prefer. Does it have a scent? Okay, so I do think their products are fragranced just given the two that I've tried out thus far. This one doesn't smell bad. It smells like very fresh and clean, but that's something to know if you are sensitive to that stuff. It's not getting patchy. Let me zoom in and see if you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's not necessarily patchy, but you can see like it's clinging on just a tad bit onto the areas of my skin that are a little bit drier, but I mean, it's giving nice coverage. Like it's covering up the redness. Like even on my nose, you see like, I feel like that toned it down really nice. I did get a little more coverage with using a brush, but I actually think I prefer the sponge side more. So I'm gonna go ahead and just continue with the sponge and I'm gonna add one more layer and see if it is buildable. Here we have two layers and honestly, I think this looks really lovely. Like I am not mad at this at all. My nose looks 
just a tad bit wonky. I don't think this is gonna be for someone who has extremely dry skin because even like for my own skin, it's clinging on a little bit. Now for concealer, here's where it kind of got a little tricky because I only had two shades available, both of which were deeper. And so I was like, okay, what can I do? So I ended up picking up the shade Dark Caramel and I'm gonna use this as a contour because I still wanted to see like the actual formula of the concealer and give that a go. So it has a nice little applicator. I like that. It's like a little pointed. I'm gonna start with that on my forehead and blend that out to see because I don't know the drying time. I know none of that. Oh, that is like, that's intense. Hold on. I know my like hairline is <laughs> very white, but I'm gonna try to work this into there because I can't be looking all types of crazy right now. I mean, it blended out like pretty well and it's definitely matte. I don't really know what happened right here, but it basically like came off. <laughs> I think maybe, I don't know. I don't really know when that happened. I think I was like probably blending a little more aggressive. Let's see because if that is something that is gonna happen i don't really like that <laughs> definitely padding i think is a way to go though i'm gonna add some concealer really quick and i'll be back all right i'm back so i am now kind of having mixed feelings about what we got going on on the skin because when i was adding my concealer I noticed that it was like kind of picking up a little bit and I used concealers that I use all the time so it's like I know how they perform on the skin and so because that started happening and it also happened with the essence concealer that I used for bronzer I kind of got a feeling that it might be the primer which is kind of a bummer but again that is a thing right with like trying out new makeup brands and everything when you're doing a full face because it could be like a number of things but it's just hard to pinpoint it right now so i didn't see any loose powders but i did see that they had a few options one as well being a powder foundation i went with the all about matte fixing compact powder it's just like your standard translucent powder. I'll be setting one side of my face with a brush and the other side with a puff and then we can go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparison. You guys, I like, <laughs> I thought I had kind of like fixed all the errors that were happening with the liquids but it's definitely showing a little more now that I've set it down. Like here, like there's like a whole little like piece missing. Anyways, but for the powder, it, I mean, it definitely mattified everything nicely and it's fairly lightweight. I would be interested to see how this works with the other makeup that I own. But yeah, I mean, it did the job. It set everything and it looks pretty, pretty nice. Moving on, we are going to do contour. I went ahead and did the duo palette and I thought this would be good because, you know, we got a little two-in-one situation. So I'm going to use one for bronzer and then another to contour. I am not going to say that I love it, but I'm also not going to say that I dislike it. I think it's like nice. Like it's, I don't know, that's kind of how like all these products are. Like they're good, you know, but they're not like out of this world. Like you need to run and get this right now. Moving on, let's go ahead and do, let's see, what do I want to go in with? Blush or highlight first? I think I'll do blush. So I picked up the shade Befitting. I feel like that is going on pretty well and it's definitely giving color. Okay, that's cute. I'm not mad at that. Let's go ahead and do the highlighter, which I think this is a product that people are like, you need this in your life. So let's see if I do. <laughs> this is in the shade Be My Highlight. Oh, it's a baked highlighter. Did I get the wrong one? Is this the one people will get or because there was an other one and I didn't know if it was that one. Yeah, that is definitely like too icy for me. Putting the shade of this highlight aside, the actual formula is decent. I mean, it's giving payoff and it's not looking chunky or 
glittery at all i would be interested to try out the other shades that they have and hopefully find one that would go well with my skin now for the eyes i completely forgot to get an eye primer but at the same time i also don't know if there was one available so maybe that's why i didn't pick one up who knows so i just went ahead and primed my eyes with a primer i use all the time what caught my eye were these little itty bitty palettes and they had different color stories and all of that you already know i wanted to get the bronzy one but i was like no francesca you have so many palettes like this like you cannot do this right now so i went with a taupe which i think you guys should be proud because i'm very proud of myself we have three mattes and three shimmers in here the mattes look very light like instead of having these two lighter shades i would have liked to see a darker shadow like maybe a black would have been fine or even like a very deep gray like something almost similar to this but matte we're just gonna do a very simple eye look nothing too out there we're gonna start with this shade in the little corner i do like that it has a mirror i think that's great so we're gonna just begin with working this in a back and forth motion in the crease yeah like it's definitely laying down and it's not looking patchy i will say it is like a little light like it's showing up on my complexion but i don't know how well it would show up on deeper skin tones let's go ahead and dip into the matte gray and i'm gonna work this on that outer corner okay that one is definitely showing up oh my lord that one was like hi <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and do this middle shimmer and then i'm gonna put that on the inner corner of my eye then I'm just gonna take this lighter shimmer and add that to the very inner corner. I think I had said that for the first shimmer. That was like inner half of the lid is what I meant. <laughs> I also wanna take the deeper like gunmetal shade and place that just on that outer third. I'm actually really enjoying this eyeshadow palette right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take those same like grayish matte shadows and add that to the lower lash line. Then to try out this white because it's the last one we have. I don't know where to put this. Um, let's just do this like little tiny corner. That one looks a little chalky. Not the biggest fan of that, but all the others were pretty solid. Next up, we're gonna go on to brows. This is where I was kind of struggling as well because the only shades they had for their brow products were like taupe and brown, which is not gonna work for someone with this going on. So I did, however, pick up the Lash and Brow Gel Mascara, which is just like a two-in-one type of situation. I've never used a product like this, so I have quite honestly no idea what to expect. So the one product that I have tried out from Essence is their Lash Princess Waterproof Mascara. And that was like a holy grail mascara for the longest time. And I was going to get it when I went to get all this other stuff, but they didn't have it. Just know that the that mascara, the Lash Princess one is a very solid one. It definitely gives you a little more of like a spidery lash, but it's still really beautiful on the eyes. Let's go ahead and try this little thing out. I feel like my lashes are falling down already. Yeah, like I really don't think that did anything. I think it just cleaned them up because of like any eyeshadow that might have gotten on them. Maybe better luck with the brows. Let's comb this through. Mm, you guys, I am not a fan of this. It didn't do like anything for me. Oh, I forgot. I got this um eyeliner. I was literally thinking that. I was like, I wish I grabbed an eyeliner. I did. So I got the shade Black Midnight Sky, which is supposedly waterproof and has up to 16 hour wear. Ooh, well that went on extremely smooth, which is great because there is nothing worse than having an eyeliner that will just tug at your skin. Like, 
oh my god no no thank you i hope it stays on for a while because if it does i feel like this is probably going to be something i'll reach for often for lips i got the softer precise lip pencil this is in the shade legendary the shade is a little too like gray ish like maybe not the perfect match but it's like fine and now for the lips i picked up the stay eight hour matte liquid lipstick in the shade hello sunrise i honestly don't remember the last time i wore a liquid lipstick i feel like it's been forever but let's give this a go i'm not loving it i feel like it's kind of getting into every single line on my lid but then again, that really could just be liquid lipsticks. Like I don't really wear them. So I can't remember if like this is what they do on my lips or what. I am going to go ahead and just touch up my brows, probably add some falsies on, and then we can come back and get a final last look at everything and get those final thoughts in. All right, let's get a final review of everything now that the entire face is done. So I kind of like talked about the products along the way, so I'm not really going to go into all of that right now. But just like a general thing, it's not bad. I think if I had to give this whole entire makeup look a rating, I would give it like a 6.5 out of 10. Okay, I don't think that's bad. I feel like there is definitely room for improvement with these products, but it's still good. Like, I, you know, like... Yes, because the skin, you know, maybe not look so patchy, yeah. But like, that's, you know, it happens, all right? I will say the two products that definitely stood out to me in this whole entire makeup thing, <laughs> makeup, thing makeup look, these right here. It's the eyeshadow palette and the eyeliner. The mattes in the eyeshadow palette are definitely a little lighter. Not really sure how that's going to translate onto different skin tones. However, the shimmers are really soft and just easy to use and then the eyeliner it's still on there and it went on like butter which as i mentioned is great there are definitely some that yeah i'll keep but i am gonna play around with my other makeup as well and kind of like introduce these products with that and see how they work because who knows it could just be that like something in this mix wasn't working with the other which happens but yeah, I'll give them a second chance and maybe a third or fourth. And then that will be that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, I'm recording. I didn't realize I had pressed thing. Scratch all that, Francesca. I'm gonna turn it's like it's not